It is an amazing experience to fly in space, to to leave the Earth, to float weightless, to see the world every 90 minutes. I've been around the world about 2,500 times. I've lived in Star City, Russia, a little bit in Baikonur, Kazakhstan, a lot of time in the U.S., around the world. But no place feels like home to me except southern Ontario. I've never, I just felt like I was visiting everywhere else. It is so nice to be back home. Being in the same room as Chris Hatfield, it was, uh, it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. He, uh, he's such an iconic figure, but most importantly, he's really down to earth. We have an excellent education system in Canada. I count myself hugely lucky to be a product of it. This university here is absolutely world-class. We're in such a tech-savvy community. To have him here and to share his story with the youth and new generations that are coming into the university is incredible. I liked all of it pretty much. It was really cool to see Chris Hadfield speak. If Chris Hadfield was my teacher, that would be the best school year of my life. I would take a class just to have him as my teacher. <laughs> it, it, it takes a lot of work to, be, to do the training that we're in right now, uh, and to see someone who's made it so far and be so successful, uh, it's definitely an inspiration to do our best. You need to show young people the opportunities that they didn't even know existed for them. They've got to look beyond their village or their house or their town or their, their whatever their influences are. They need to somehow see that there's stuff that's just barely possible out there in all the different fields of research. But now that I've retired from being a full-time astronaut, uh, when I got the invitation from one of my alma maters from a school that, uh, that I was a, a grad student at, it was just a, a very natural fit to be able to try and give back and hopefully use some of the technical but also the practical lessons of things that I've been taught and learned and helped develop over the last 30 years. We're looking forward to Professor Hadfield elevating the aviation program at Waterloo to new heights. I'm really looking forward to coming back in the fall and starting work as an adjunct professor here. I think that'll be really when the circle comes around and I feel like my feet are back on the ground and I'm back in a place that I used to live doing something in the hallways where I was familiar and uh, it is just a wonderful feeling to be back and uh, I'm really looking forward to this next stage of life and sharing some of these experiences further with you. Thank you very much. Go Warriors! <laughs>